I've been working in rehab services for 20 years. I've seen a lot of products as they've come out. We tend to utilize what we feel is best for clients. So if it's, if it's appropriate that a client use a narrow base quad cane or a single point cane, this is my choice. And it's because there's nothing else on the market currently that I'm aware of that comes close to that natural point motion through its infinite contact angles that this one does. So if I'm going to choose something, it's going to be this device because of its reliability and simplicity of providing them with all the support and the natural motion that I've tried to create in my therapeutic interventions. Sometimes patients don't always have the option of both upper extremities being functional, especially with stroke patients or patients who have lost hemiplegic use, it, it's gone. And so they'll become more dependent on single limb use. But if I can get from a walker, which is this size, down to a single point cane, how do I get from there to there? Well, commonly, we're looking at wide base canes, the narrow base canes, and then finally a single point cane. We have something that maybe could fill that gap. I like this option better. It's more natural in its use so that when a person's ambulating, those universal contact points that are infinite through that rolling foot, those make it so that it's a better use of a single point cane. So whether I'm using it for arthritic pain or partial weight bearing issues or paralysis and non-functional use of one side, anything that I would use a single point cane for or a narrow base quad cane for, this fills that need and it does it in a much better functional pattern of support than any of the devices currently on the market. If at one point I'm waiting for myself to get up to it and then I'm looking to put it in the right spot so it's still upright, it changes my posture and my dynamics. But if I have a cane that no matter where it swings forward and makes contact, I feel secure that I can push through it and get the same linear feedback through my upper extremity, which I'm using as a third feedback of a base of support. stable point is when all four feet are on the ground and so I have a tendency to want to make sure I get to it before my posture straightens up and so that becomes a real issue on a downward slope or an uneven surface where all of a sudden it wants to pull me forward and I don't and I want to make sure that even when I put it out here I don't like to be on it like this because it will either fulcrum forward or back on and so on a slope, I can push just as hard here for support as I can when I'm here for the support. And so going down, I'm not afraid to push against this. It gives me direct feedback all the way through my arm, and it carries through at all points. One of the advantages of having an infinite contact point with a cane like this is that I'm, I don't have to consciously think about when my cane is stable. The minute that it swings forward and comes in contact with the ground, it's immediately accessible at its stability point. And it will stay that way as I move over it all the way through. 
Whereas if I have a device where I have to get all four feet on the ground and then move over it, I have to change my posture to match the device as opposed to the device matching my natural motion and allowing me to place it at any point without there being a kind of a jerk motion of when it's in place and when it's out of place. The device is standing independent, okay? So when I get up from the bed, it's right where I left it. And so it's ready for me to get up and immediately have it accessible for use rather than sometimes I have to set it on the bed or I have to set it down on the ground because it's going to fall over anyways. Or I lean it against the bed thinking it's going to stay and it falls over. It's an end-weighted device. It's, it's slightly heavier at the bottom than at any other point. So when I have a pendulum swing of my limbs, it gives me this feedback of where it is in space. As with this, the pendulum swing and that weighted end gives me a little more feedback through my upper extremity of its location and its movement so that I can use that as more additional input. But because of the fact that I'm just as stable here as I am here, I'm using it as feedback all the way through, not just in its most stable straight up and down point. Any adaptation I make that pulls me further out away from normal, it's just that much longer and harder for them to get back to normal functional use when the body starts practicing this neuroplasticity tends to wire itself together in the brain the way you practice. So the further you get outside of normal, the more the brain re rewires abnormal movement as opposed to normal posture and gait pattern. There is a study that's, that's shown us that what we anticipate and have experienced ourselves in our clinics is now significantly shown to make an improvement in a patient's gait speed. That by using this device as opposed to a, the other devices on the market, this one increases their gait speed so that at community distances in crossing streets where there's traffic, a minimum of 150 feet per minute is kind of what clients need to get to to basically get across streets and around the community safely. This device has proven that without any other intervention, by utilizing this more natural pattern of movement, their gait speed is increased enough that it puts them much closer and most times into that safer range depending on where they were initially but we always see an improved gait speed time with the use of this device in approximately 90 percent of the clients tested. They, they deal with the issue of, I want to be independent, but I don't want to look disabled, okay? And whether that's wheelchairs or crutches or canes, it's always this, the more cumbersome the device, the more involved it looks, the more institutionalized its presentation, that's something that even if it is beneficial for them, they tend to shy away from the use of it. And the nice thing is that of the clients I've presented this device to, they think it 
it really is not a handicap or disabled marker that puts them out there as somebody that's that different in their ability.